Good morning, everybody. I have a ton of quail eggs, so I thought it was time to do a video about pickling quail eggs. So these eggs have been hard boiled for seven minutes. First, I washed them thoroughly, then I put them in and hard boiled them for seven minutes, and then I put them in an ice water bath. Now, before you peel them, get a jar, put them in it, and shake it. That will crack them and make them super easy to peel. I've peeled all of these guys so far, and then I'm gonna rinse them to get off. There's a little bit of residue you can see that just kind of adhered to them. There's my shells. But shaking them around like this when they're hard boiled, it makes them so easy to peel. Now once you've shaken the egg to crack it, and you can see the little spot there where it's cracked, you just want to gently start peeling it away. I don't know if you've ever tried to peel chicken eggs and been super frustrated by how hard it was and the way the egg just kind of gets really messed up. Most of the quail eggs, because of this leathery membrane in the inside, they actually peel really nicely. So here we go again, shaking. Made a crack. And I'm gonna peel it at the hole. You can see the leathery membrane there. You have to get into that, but not so low that you start getting into the white. And then you just start peeling. I, when I pickle them, they're gonna be a really fun addition to Thanksgiving dinner. So we're going to pickle them for Thanksgiving. But honestly, I'm basically just desperate because I've got so many quail eggs I can't keep up. They, When they start laying, they really lay. I have one hen who lays two eggs a day sometimes. Now I sterilized a pint jar and wash the eggs and they are now in the jar ready for the next step in the process which is going to be creating and then pouring the brine over top so now i'm going to grate this beet about a half a cup of it first i'm going to peel it a little bit because it really does look rough this is a really pretty beet it was chioga I had terrible germination. I only had about six come up, so I didn't really bother with them. And then I gave a couple to the chickens, and I think there's probably one more left in the garden. Really disappointing germination rate for whatever reason. I think because it was too hot, honestly. There we go. I have a cup of grated beet to go in along with the vinegar and the water. Now, honestly, whatever your favorite egg pickling recipe, just go with that. But for this one, along with the beets, the apple cider vinegar, and the water, I am doing two teaspoons of pickling spice, which I mixed up my own using typical pickling ingredients because I didn't have any on hand. I used it all up making pickles already. Two teaspoons of salt and four teaspoons of sugar. I'm going to bring it to a boil, let it cool a little, and then pour it over the eggs. I'm giving it a stir, and then I'm going to let it simmer. And once it is all mixed together and heated through, I'll be able to actually pickle the eggs. Now, everything's at a rolling boil, so I've turned it off. And I'm going to strain it so we don't have all the cloves and bits sticking to the eggs. We're just going to have the pickling solution. This has cooled down a little bit. I can strain it into a bowl and then pour the leftover brine into the eggs and discard all the stuff in this strainer. Barely needed the strainer, most of it stayed in the bowl.
All right, so all the liquid is in. Now I am going to wipe the rim to get rid of any residue, and I'm going to put the lid on. And then they're just going to sit in the fridge. Now, after the first 24 hours, you're going to want to take it out and shake it. And you want to make sure that you wait about a week before you actually eat them so that they're well pickled.